We should certainly get a B-17 bomber, though. In Geneva. So, yeah. Once I have the capability to get that B-17, I think Geneva is going to be the one that I'm going to put at least one in. Maybe in Brussels. Maybe in Lampang. Because I want to start hitting uh, Sipar over here. With the bomber. And I think I should be close enough to bomb him from there. Which would be quite nice. Speaking of Sipar, I noticed something quite lovely on the borders right there. That would be uranium. Ooh, how I like that. So when I take over a Sipar, I should probably be able to get that uranium, which will be nice. Man, looks like Florence really has a lot of units going on there. I guess that's because there's never been anyone to contest their, uh, their power on this island. Eventually, I will contest it. I'm going to take over uh, Australia for sure. Alright, why don't you start heading over here, and we'll have you uh, maybe snatch some workers out from under their noses. Now this crossbowman, I think, can upgrade into one of those mech units, so I think I'm going to start upgrading him now. It's about time that he gets some upgrades going. It's going to take a few turns to do it. But now that crossbowman is extremely obsolete, and he is of no use whatsoever to my army as he is. I don't know if there's any other units like that. I'd like to get these frigates upgraded, but I need to get them back. I do have a rifleman. I don't know why he has zero movement. So I don't remember moving this rifleman around. That's strange. Random rifleman is out of moves for whatever reason. I would like to uh Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. That rifleman is the uh the archer that I just upgraded. Of course. I didn't know what I was looking at for a second there. Silly me. Got a tank there. I should probably get some more tanks. Those would probably be of great assistance in any coming wars. Because I'm pretty sure a tank can take down basically any units at this point. Arabia is denouncing Germany. That's cool. And you have a need for orders. Keep going this way. Alright. Apparently I am considered the wise American ruler at the moment. I don't know where that came from, but okay. That is fine with me. Alright, so we've got some new uh, citizens there, which is nice. And um, apparently Babylon is at peace with Russia once again. What we got working over here? Wow, well, there's a lot of things I can create in the way of units. Which I'm not interested in currently. Factory. Factory is shorter than the hydro plant. So I think I will go for the factory first. And you can continue working around this area. Ah! Found a tire. Alright. So there was two different things on this island. 
I definitely need to go down to that island soon with all of my units and just destroy them. Because that would be two less votes that could happen. Which would be quite nice. That four uranium will come in handy later on. Right now, not really interested in it. You need to keep upgrading. And we'll have mechanized infantry in just a bit here. Okay, battleship. Where do I want you to go off to? I think I'm going to have you go over here. Let's sail out into the sea. See what we can find over that way. And I apparently met Belgrade. Awesome. Good to go there. A random meeting. Seriously? You're still out there somewhere. And you want peace. Well, you gotta give me this and you gotta give me that. Um, and you also have to, uh, to declare war on some random person. Yeah, the English. No? Okay. I have no idea where the rest of Siam is. It's somewhere out there. That, that is surprising to see him still trying to declare peace with me. Quite surprising indeed. I have no idea where the hell he is. Sweet. A random great person. It is a great engineer, it seems. Let's see if he's got a name. Wilbur Wright. So he does have a name. Awesome. Unlike some people that just come out and don't have a name at all. Let's have you go here. That's only going to get rid of some food, so let's do it. I think I've got plenty of food in Washington. I'm not going to starve myself by getting rid of a little bit of that. Oh, some wine! We have not seen any of that. I think we would have seen more of that already, but haven't seen any. I do need to start looking up here to see what uh, what England is up to. Because we haven't even touched on England to see who's there. It'd be interesting to find out. They're still guarding Sydney. I think I will use this battleship to go check on uh, England. See what's going on up there. If I remember by the time I'm up there, that is. Alright, you just finished a factory. And apparently you still do not have very much production after all that. Um, why don't you go ahead and get a stadium? I would like the extra happiness. Singapore. Why don't you work on a factory? You grab a workshop, and uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Fitzanalock, maybe? I have no idea. Let's upgrade you and get a mechanized infantry. Sweet. Now we actually have uh, some dangerous units next to Spar when I start working on them. Which will be good. Hey, you finally got here. Time to upgrade to a destroyer. Sweet. Let's see what else we got going. You want pearls? Great citizen that we already demolished. Uh, denouncing Ottomans. Where's Belgrade? I must have met it through a random ship in the water because that is right in the middle of everything. What is this, a Russian rifleman? 
I don't know why I can see those random Russian riflemen in the middle of that. But, you know, whatever. That's fine. Germany is protecting Belgrade. Siam is protecting Belgrade. How is Siam protecting Belgrade without any units? Or maybe one unit. That's just silly. Russia is protecting Belgrade. Why does everyone want to protect Belgrade? What the hell? I would really like to know where Siam has drifted off to. It must be either a ship or just a random unit walking around. I'm betting more on the ship though because if it was a random unit someone would have probably killed it by this point because Russia does not like them whatsoever. The world's busiest people. I am apparently at the top of this list. Even above Germany. I would have thought that Elizabeth would have been up there because she had such a huge army, but apparently not so much. But that's that's pretty cool. Rank of production generated by all their cities. Who's at the bottom of this? Montezuma. And uh, of course Siam. Because they both have nothing. Nothing at all. Poor guys. That must mean that both of them are uh, without cities at this point. So I have no idea where the Aztecs are. That must mean that they just have one unit floating around somewhere. One or two, anyway. Not very much. That's pretty crazy, though. To think that there's two things just sitting out there somewhere. Who the hell knows where? Give you a windmill. You need some orders, huh? I'll keep on heading through here. Mechanized infantry, where are you? Ah, this is the one in Brussels. Alright, we will bring you down to uh, the border of Sapar, I think. I'll have you sit over here. And you could certainly use a heal. Um, and the nearest coastal city is very far away, so we'll just have you heal right there. Alright. Working on checking out England. Which looks like it may be ruled by Germany. That's an interesting turn of events. Alright. I think we are all set here. Move it along. If it's moving along, oh, there it goes. Denouncing Babylon! Good job, England. It's always good to denounce Babylon. I can appreciate that. Siam is denouncing China with what little power they have left. It's about all Siam can do at this point is denounce people and hide. Vision is the art of seeing things invisible. Very nice. Now we can create the Pentagon, paratroopers, and my favorite, B-17s, which only we can make. Very awesome. We are certainly going to get B-17 in uh, Brussels over here. It's a 920. Got a range of 10. Should hopefully be able to uh, to hit Sapar with a range of 10 there. Also grab a B-17 here. And 
we'll go ahead and sail you around the rest of the way here. Alright. We'll leave this anti-tank gun on the border. I really didn't want you to go in the water, but, you know, whatever. Well, we found some more of the Germans, but that is nothing important to me at the moment. I think probably the next thing that's going is going to be... I think this is Sedan here. No, it's, it's Kathmandu. Kathmandu is the next thing that's going to be going, for sure. See what kind of production we've got. You have finished the Manhattan projects. So we are ready to create bombs. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Uh, stadium would get me some happiness, so I think I'll go for it. You just finished a windmill. What else do you have? Do you have anything that's worked around you? It doesn't look like it, so there's no real reason for me to get a harbor. Um, you have a factory. Well, we are uh, we're at the end of what we can research right now because that was the last thing we voted on. So next time, we'll be looking into what we're going to be researching in this tree. We'll be attacking uh, Kathmandu. And, and we will continue the hunt for that last Siamese who continues to elude us. And we'll also figure out if Germany is really the ruler of England which it, it seems like it very well might be at this rate because we're seeing them a lot over here but anyway next time we'll find that out we'll see what happens who becomes the next target of America the world power slowly devouring everything fuck you Russia and fuck you too Babylon. They just keep trying to take over Africa. They have no idea what they're dealing with. See y'all later, everyone.